In the heart of London, whispers buzzed through the streets as six new pieces of art appeared seemingly overnight. Word quickly spread. Banksy was back with a new series. The elusive yet iconic British street artist had once again managed to capture the public's imagination and provoke thought with his latest creations. Banksy, born in 1974 in Bristol and emerging from the underground scene in the 1990s, had a knack for dark humor and social commentary that cut to the bone. His newest series, however, had a twist. It featured various animals, a departure from his more familiar themes like anti-authoritarianism and cultural critique. One of the standout pieces was a large cat spray-painted onto a towering billboard its eyes imbued with an almost human curiosity and mischievousness. It was situated in a busy part of the city, where thousands would walk past it every day, and it instantly became a social media sensation. Another piece depicted a pair of pigeons, painted on the side of a dilapidated building. One pigeon appeared to be covering the other's eyes with its wings. A surreal and thought-provoking image that led to numerous interpretations. Was it a commentary on ignorance? Protection from harsh realities? The beauty of Banksy's work often lay in its ambiguity, inviting viewers to project their own meanings onto it. As always, the arrival of new Banksy works stoked a frenzy of interest and speculation. Fans and critics alike swarmed to each newly discovered piece. Phones in hand, ready to capture a slice of history. Some artworks were more whimsical, like the squirrel balancing on a precarious stack of books painted on the wall of an old library. Others carried a heavier weight, such as the mural of an elephant draped in an elaborate, ornate costume, standing beneath an ominous sky filled with dark clouds. Each piece was a treasure, a puzzle to be deciphered. Banksy's unusual method of employing stencils and spray paint allowed him to work swiftly often in the dead of night. From the beginning, his goal had been to democratize art, making it accessible to everyone. In this series, that ethos remained firmly intact. The atmosphere in London for those few days was electric. At every corner where a new Banksy had sprung up, there were clusters of people, some silent in contemplation, others chatting excitedly. Media coverage was incessant, with every major outlet trying to unravel the mystery and implications of these new works. Tourists flocked to the city to catch a glimpse, turning the streets into open-air galleries, cutting through the usual hustle and bustle.